Hi guys, it is, um, gosh, I don't even know the date, May 23rd. Um, the Lord gave me this word this morning, and, you know, sometimes I kind of have a feeling of what the Lord is going to talk to us about, and I, I kind of get a feeling in my um, spirit what we're going to be um, hearing from the Lord about in messages. And today, I just had no clue what the Lord was going to speak to me about. In fact, I didn't even think there was going to be a message um, given to me today. And the Lord just, um, I was doing some work and the Lord just said, you know, stop what you're doing and you need to write this down. So um, I really got that feeling in my spirit. So this is the message that he gave me. Please, please, please prayerfully discern. And if anyone should find any scripture or has any confirmation to this message, please post it in the comments. Okay, I received this this morning. My daughter, write my message to those who have ears to hear and a spirit of discernment. My children, some of you are called to the harvest, while some of you are called to sow seeds. Some of you are field workers, while others of you are not called to the fields. The person that is not called to the fields is a sower and is not to be judged by the harvester, nor is the harvester to be judged by the sower. Work each, work each doing what he or she is being called to do and is capable of, my children. If another child of mine is in a season of fasting and praying, and you have not been called to fast and pray, do not be judgmental upon him, as if you are called to fast and pray, but your brother is not. There is no call for you to judge that brother. This is a time of unity in my spirit, but your outward appearance may differ. Your prayer life may differ. Your dedication to me may not look the same as another child of mine. But you do not cast judgment on your brother. Work out your own salvation, not your brother's, your own. This is what you are called to do. Do not judge your fellow field worker if he is not assigned to the same job as you. Securing a bountiful, bountiful harvest is the accumulation of many services. A bountiful crop requires much planning. Just because a seed is planted, it does not always take root. But even so, if there is never a seed sown, there will never be a chance for the root to take hold. Be patient, my children. Let the sowers sow. Let the field workers tend the field. And let the harvesters harvest. And let the gleaners glean. Do not backbite the sower if you are a harvester, or you will have no grain to harvest. Woe to those who judge my children, for this is of your fleshy pride. Judge yourself under the same scrutiny you judge your fellow field worker, but first... Remove the plank from your own eye. This is not the time for disparaging one another, my children. Set your face on me and the job I have set before you. Do not look to the left or to the right to see if others are not meeting your pride-filled standards. Thanks, guys.